Remember Wii Sports Golf? It was simple, yet enjoyable. Now EA has made Tiger Woods for Wii, which implements those controls and adds more depth to the gameplay. As game modes, you get the Tiger Woods Challenge, which puts you up against 18 pro golfers, or if you like simulations more, then you can compete in the PGA Tour, where you race from a nobody to a legend. And yes, you get to create your own character, and get to be the ultimate champ. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008 is a great update over the other one, sure the gameplay remained the same, but you get new game modes, which make it far superior over the first one. The game modes aren't new to Tiger Woods veterans, they appeared on the PS2 too, but on the Wii, they are new, because Tiger Woods 2007, the first game for the Wii, didn't have them. So the new modes are the traditional game modes, stroke play, match play, blood sum, green sum, skins, stable ford, alternate, best ball and four ball. There are five mini games, mini put, which is mini golf, target, t-i-g-e-r, capture and target to target. There are also 5 arcade games, Elimination Mode, Battle Golf, One Ball, Team One Ball and Skills 18. In rest you get 23 golf pros to play against and 18 courses. In rest you still get the PGA Tour and Challenge Mode. Tiger Woods is the same in gameplay and graphics as 2007 but with the many new minigames and game modes it is far superior to its, to its predecessor. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2009 All Play is awesome. It manages to be great for both players that want a realistic approach to golfing and for families that want to have some fun. For the simulation fans, they get the PGA Tour, the challenge modes, stroke play matches, skins and best ball. And you also get arcade challenges such as rings where you try to hit the ball through rings spread along the course and battle golf where the winner of each hole gets to take a club from his opponent's bag. And if you have kids, the game is great too because it has many Wii specific golf mini games that will be a lot of fun for them and for you. Even adults will have a lot of fun playing those great mini games that can be played in multiplayer too. If PGA Tour 2009 already sounds like a dream come true, wait for this one. PGA Tour 10 features a robust selection of new courses and golfers. There are 7 new courses, which totals around 25. The game also has real-time weather effects, enhanced live tournaments over EA's online network and even disc golf. And the disc golf mode has 27 courses. You also get over 10 minigames and the graphics look improved from last year. And it has all the game modes and everything the other games had, making it the ultimate experience. Till now. But wait for the next game. In PGA Tour 11, the controls have been improved. And not only this, but you get multiple control schemes so that you can choose in more detail how you want your controls to be, whether you want a casual experience and the controls will be extremely easy to pick up, or you like to tweak everything yourself and the controls will be more technical. There are multiple control schemes in between those two extremities, so the controls are a great plus in PGA 11. Disc Golf now has an online feature and Mini Golf is back with 26 courses. And in addition, you get the Ryder Cup, a USA vs Europe team focused competition. And in Tiger Woods PGA Tour 12, the Masters, the improvements are more subtle. But they are there. You get in addition to the 25 courses the Xbox and PS3 versions have, 9 more on the Wii totaling a number of 34 courses. Another addition in the game are the caddy tips, which are useless, but I'm mentioning them because they exist. The guy in white gives you some mind-blowingly obvious advices that you knew even if you were parallel with golf. And another addition in the game is the commentary by Jim Nance, which is great. The commentary gives a certain good feel when you play golf. 
In rest, it's similar to last year's game.